It's hard, but I have a lot of happy memories here. A painful journey for Michelle Smith, but one she wanted to make. I still see it as my happy family home because the, the kids loved it here. It's just that horrible, horrific night when it, but still I, I find comfort being here. I really do. The house stands empty but is full of memories of the fire that claimed the lives of four of her children. Holly and Ella, the four-year-old twins, Jordan, who was two, and 19-year-old Reese, who tried to rescue the younger children. The thing that I will regret for the rest of my life is why I didn't go up the stairs with him. I kind of froze. It was panic shock. Why didn't I go up the stairs? Why? I don't know. And I hate myself for not doing that. They were shouting, Mummy. And that's what I hear in my head all the time. Why didn't I go and help them? The fire was no accident. It was started in the bedroom wardrobe by Dyson Allen, a friend of the family, there to celebrate Michelle's birthday. Speaking for the first time since Alan was jailed for manslaughter, Michelle told me his nine-year minimum term is not enough. To me, justice hasn't been done because when he got the sentence he did, to me, that is nothing. To me, he should never come out. That's, that's how I feel about that. Nine years, three months is not enough. I'd like to be able to go and see him in prison. I would love to look him in the eyes and ask him why. And the lives he took, he took on their mother's birthday. I will never have a birthday again, ever. I know it will be my birthday, but I will never celebrate it because obviously that happened. Reese died that day and my children died early hours of the morning afterwards. So no, I will never, ever have a birthday again. Michelle says her remaining children are her reason to live. They keep her going through the pain of the memories of what happened in this house and the lives that were lost. Peter Lane, 5 News.